There are reports also uh, that she may emulate the Kardashians. Uh, Megan may become an Instagram influencer. She's uh, already tried to emulate them, I guess, with that documentary series for Netflix, that god-awful boring thing that really was a reality series. It was just a boring one. Can you see that in her future where she becomes uh, an influencer who gets a fee per post or has some sort of a website like a Gwyneth Paltrow, a lifestyle type of website? Uh, because the, the Netflix and Spotify deals don't seem to be working out. The content just isn't there to justify those deals continuing. No, I absolutely think you're right. And Megan needs some of that Kardashian celebrity, some of that shine, which is why I'm predicting right here and right now to you and only you that a Kim Kardashian, Megan Markle collaboration is on the horizon. Recent polling says Megan oh, no. is at her twist in the states minus two she's never been that low in america i think people think she's vapid and you know we're seeing we are still seeing harry pursue charity and philanthropy while megan is grinding and bumping to beyonce so i do think that she's going to pursue um that celebrity lifestyle and how easy is it to send a tweet obviously her work ethic is lacking from what spotify specifically told us it's easy to send a tweet and get five thousand dollars for for saying you like a, a lip gloss well, yeah, that would be a lot simpler than coming up with with content for a podcast. Uh, now, Megan has been uh, pictured by the paparazzi whizzing around in her Range Rover while Harry is away in Germany to promote their Invictus games. Now, some uncharitable souls have suggested here that this is Megan's way of getting some of that spotlight because she doesn't like it when it's just Harry getting the attention. Surely that's not the case. Surely, oh, Kinsey. Sure. Oh, she would never do such a thing. You know, I mean, I do think that she was a member of the, she was a working member of the royal family long enough to know that she should be laying low right now for Prince Harry to have the spotlight. Rita, this is the only legitimate project that Prince Harry has, the Invictus Games. The only thing that from start to finish is considered a success success that people admire and to be like yeah i think i'm gonna run through the in and out drive through and have someone conveniently take a picture of me from inside the restaurant to to magically snap me in the drive through window it's a little off it, it makes you wonder if there's any method to the madness because all eyes should be on harry uh because you know, i just think that right now their their brand is a mess and it's the one thing they've got going for them that makes sense now, this story raised a few eyebrows last week. Amid the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death, reports emerged of how Meghan tried to insert herself by the monarch's bedside in her final hours. Despite the palace forbidding it, the telly reports friends of the Prince of Wales revealed before the anniversary how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attempted to bypass the palace's official decision over who was welcome to be by the Queen's deathbed in her final hours. It was insane, a Wales insider said. They had just spent two years slagging off the entire family and calling them racist. Harry had completely betrayed William and he was holding the memoir and the Netflix series over them as well. Wow, that really gives an insight into some of the uh, dynamics in the family at that fraught time. Yes, here in the States, we call that delulu, delusional. The fact that you think you would be welcome at the <laughs> Queen's bedside as she is passing away. Um, you know, they even go as far as to claim that Harry and Meghan's press team released the fact that Meghan would be attending to force the royal's hand. That's not the way it works. You do not force these people's hands mm -hmm. at such a difficult point in time in history. Uh, so, you know, and, and not to, you know, focus on the past, but don't forget Katie Nichols reported at the time that the Queen had reached out to them in her dying days and asked to spend time with them, and they rejected her. So the idea that they're going to jump on a plane and make sure they're packed going to, to spend the Queen's last moments with her, get over yourself. No, thank you. You are not welcome. <laughs> Now, finally, uh, President Donald Trump has said that he'd like to debate Meghan Markle 
on live radio. Let's have a listen. If you were to sit down with the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, and Prince Harry, they don't like you much. Would you do that for the ratings? Well, I don't know that they don't like me. I said uh, that I don't think they're very appropriate, what they're saying, what they're doing. And but, I mean, that would get ratings, wouldn't it? Oh, if you want to set it up, let's set it up. Let's, right. let's go do something. I'll, I'll, I'd love to debate her. I would uh, love it. You know what? I'll be in on that. That, that would be something... <laughs> <laughs> the ratings would be sky high. Meghan versus Trump. Can we make it happen, Kinsey? How can we make it happen? We keep hearing Meghan has political ambitions and what better way to get your credentials than to go head to head with Donald Trump, the number one enemy of, of the Democrats? You're right. I was just thinking you and I would be front row with our popcorn ready. Um, oh. You know, and Megan, I, I don't know if you rem have noticed, but whenever she's accepting an award, because really that's unless she's filming a reality show, she's an accept accepting an award. And that's the only time we hear her talk. She talks in these ger like very generic sound bites. Even this idea of her going this entertainment route, the li live to or lead to love, live, laugh, love. She talks in like things you'd find on a bathroom mat in one of those discount stores. You know, she doesn't ever really expand on anything and talk and, and, and show us what she's truly about. It's just she has these bu buzzwords and these buzz causes that she attaches herself to. So Trump would destroy her. Trump is vicious. He's a lot smarter than she is. I mean, look at the brand he's built for himself. And look at the brand the royal family gave her that she's managed to destroy. So I think it would be must-see TV. And you and I, right there, front row, enjoying our popcorn. I would be there even if it was just audio, if it was a, if it was a radio debate, but if it could they televise it, oh, my gosh. But you're so right. And I think what would be the uh, the most thrilling bit is the nickname he, he he's going to give her because he's expert at that. His nicknames stick. He very rarely gets it wrong. Um, and, we, you know, we call them the ginger and the winger and uh, he'll blow that out of the, out of the park. He'll come up with something that you'll go, genius, obvious, but genius. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.